might think that vintage is cool, but that doesn't quite apply to the return of iodine deficiency. This problem mainly disappeared in the 1900s after the addition of iodine to many common foods, but a lack of public education, as well as a switch from iodized table salt to Himalayan salt and more processed foods that lack iodine means that we're seeing a recurrence. It's important to know about because this essential mineral is needed to produce thyroid hormones and in its absence, the gland can enlarge producing something called a goiter. We're seeing this recurrence in both adults who need a minimum of around 140 to 150 micrograms per day and children who have varying requirements based on their age. Now you don't need to worry about tracking those numbers as long as you have a healthy balanced diet as you can see that there are a varied number of food sources that actually contain iodine. Definitely interesting though how some new health trends have undesired consequences. 